Yo, what up, what's poppin'? It's me, Josh Otusanya, here again. I hope you had a great holiday and a great new year. Mine was great, thank you so much for asking. I actually just got back from Nigeria. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of my Instagram stories. I documented the whole trip, it's fantastic. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do it now. Pause this video, scroll down into the description box, and click the link to my Instagram and hit that follow button. Also stay tuned, I'm probably gonna make a video recapping the trip a little bit because I've been asked by some of you to talk about it. But anyway, this week's video is gonna be addressing a question received from Anastasia. Anastasia asked if I could make a video talk about getting out of creative burnouts, creative slumps, you know, because we've all gone through it sometimes where we feel like all the stuff we're working on is useless and stupid and garbage and we just have no inspiration. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so when it comes to these creative burnouts, creative slumps and everything, because I go through it a lot, especially in comedy, right, when I'm trying to write new jokes and come up with new material, but I'm just like, gah! Nothing is coming to my mind. One thing I like to do is just drop everything I'm doing, walk away and do something else. Just do something else and get my mind completely off of whatever I'm working on. Because not everything has to be work, 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 work all the time. I might go and see a movie with some friends or by myself. I've been seeing movies by myself recently and it's fantastic. I might free write, so I might just write a bunch of random stuff that comes to my head, not filtering or editing anything, I just write like a brain dump. I might just go hang out with friends. You know, I might just call up a family member or someone close to me and just talk, have a conversation. Basically, it doesn't really matter what you do exactly, but the idea is to just get your mind off of whatever it is you're working on. You just gotta take a mental break. Another thing I wanna add is that creative slumps are not anything to be worried about. I'm telling you, even the most motivated and driven and inspiring people that you look up to all go through it. This is very, very common. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the dreams and things you're working towards suddenly aren't what you really want to do anymore just because you're feeling uninspired. Because I know that's something a lot of people, you know, they worry about when that happens. Like, oh, does this mean I don't want this anymore? And one quick check you can do is to review your alternatives. So I'll just set up an example. Let's just say, okay, you set you, you put all your resources towards starting a music career because music just brings you so much happiness, so much joy, and so much fulfillment, okay? And let's say, you know, you've been making music, you've been putting it out on a consistent basis, and then you hit a point where you're not really feeling inspired, nothing's coming to mind anymore, you're just in this rut, and you're feeling like, oh my goodness, does this mean I don't wanna be a musician anymore? And you review your alternatives, and what if your alternative is, oh, well that means I gotta go back to school, and then, you know, eventually work at a desk job. You know, I gotta work at an office, you know, in corporate America, and you realize I in no way, shape, or form ever want this for my life. When you're able to review your alternatives and realize that none of them make you happy, just know that you are along the right path. It's okay. Also, going back to these creative slumps, sometimes it might mean that you need to change up your schedule. You might have fallen into a routine that's just lost all of its excitement to you. Because I know that's true for me. Sometimes when I'm feeling uninspired, it's because, you know, my routine is just so predictable it's the same thing over and over and over again I'm getting bored for example let's say you know you got some fitness goals for yourself so you got a new diet and a workout routine but let's say that you're eating the same foods for every meal every single day you go to the gym every single workout is the same exact workout after a certain amount of time this is gonna get boring it's gonna get predictable and you're gonna lose a lot of motivation and inevitably you're gonna hit a weak moment Okay, when you're craving something that, you know, falls outside of the standards you set for yourself, and because of your routine, because you're weak already, you're gonna break your standards. You're gonna go binge on a bunch of donuts or something. So sometimes when you're feeling uninspired, you're feeling a lack of inspiration, you might wanna take a look at your schedule and see if you've just been following along the same routine over and over and over again. You gotta add some more spice, some more flavor in your day to day. Also, another thing I like to do is just go and work out. This kind of falls along the line of, you know, getting your, your mind off of whatever it is you're working on, but just go to the gym, okay? You know, go exercise, you know, get the blood moving, get the heart rate up, you know, put on some music and just throw around some weights or whatever you like to do. You know, it's just a good way to de-stress and to get your mind on other things. And if you're not a workout person, you know, you could go and do, there's a lot of other alternatives, okay? You could go and take a walk, whether it's by yourself or other people, you once again, you can put music in, you know, however you want to do it, all right? But like I said earlier, you know, just do other things to, to stimulate your brain in other ways. Another thing I want to add is that it's important to not compare yourself to other people, okay? Don't 
do that. Do not compare yourself to other people because if you're in a rut, okay, you're sitting here in a rut and then you look over here at Jimmy who's not in a rut and Jimmy is killing it in life. All that's going to do is make you feel uninspired and overwhelmed. And the funny thing is, right, everybody, no matter who it is you're looking at, goes through these phases in life where they're feeling uninspired. We just go through it at different times. So when you're in a rut over here and you're looking at Jimmy and he's killing it in life, then you start to doubt yourself. Oh, maybe I don't have, you know, as much potential as Jimmy. Maybe I'm not as good as Jimmy. Maybe I just don't have what it takes. When in reality, you're just at different points of your cycle because eventually you're gonna start killing it. You're gonna start crushing it in life. But meanwhile, over here, Jimmy's in his rut, okay? Jimmy's struggling, okay? And then Jimmy looks at you wondering whether or not he's good enough. So just save yourself a lot of stress and trouble and mental energy and just don't compare yourself to other people. Just focus on yourself. And to add on to this, you gotta make sure that you're rooting for yourself and you're cheering for yourself as well. This is very important because yes, when you're going through these points, these situations in life, you might not be feeling like you're the best or the most creative or that you have a lot of potential. The fact of the matter is, yes, you gotta remember, we all go through this and this does not take away from your ability to succeed. It doesn't take away from the amount of potential you have. So root for yourself, stay positive, and know that it's not gonna last forever. It doesn't, it doesn't last forever. So, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, click that like button down below. Leave your comments down below as well. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. You see that little subscribe button down there? Click that button. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Remember, if you have any questions or video suggestions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Type it up, click that comment button. I'ma read it and I'ma make a video on it. So once again, I wanna say I appreciate you watching. It means a lot. I love this community. We're growing, okay? So thank you again for watching. I don't know how many times I said that, but thank you again for watching <laughs> and have a fantastic day and even better rest of your week. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.